The most important thing is this, if we're going to use the gift of hospitality, it must go to someone else. And it must be to one another. And we re read in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 9, it says, Use hospitality one to another without grudging. In other words, you don't using hospitality to get things from people. You get things, to, you do things for God, and amazing things happen in your life. As every man has received the gift, even uh, so minister the same one to, to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. And the Bible talks about stewardship. What does a steward do? He takes from his master, serves his ma and serves out the, the food to the master first. And therefore God uses us as stewards to his work. And in 1 Corinthians 4 verse 2 it says, it's required of stewards that they be found faithful. Faithfulness is very important with God. There are so many people dancing around from one church to another because they get offended. Hospitality, if you are in the Lord of Lord Jesus, you will be, let the Lord speak to you about these things that are so pleasantly missing in your life. And as I found in my life, I found that most of the problems rest with me. So I also go on to another scripture that I'd like to give in to you, 1 Timothy 5.10. And I'll just go back with your scriptures. Just take your Bibles with me, if you don't mind. And I'll turn over to 1 Timothy, Timothy chapter 4, verse 10. And I'll read these words. Oh, I'm, I've got, no, I, I apologize. Uh, 1 Timothy 5, verse 10. And I'll read these words with for you now. I'm a bit old, so just forgive me if I've <laughs> staggered a bit. Amen. It is well recorded of good works. If any has brought up children, if she has lodged strangers, if she has washed the saints' feet, if she has received the afflicted, if she has diligently followed every good work. And the thing is, God says to us, if you follow your good works, you will be blessed in your good works. And God wants us to understand this and we will understand good works and, and hospitality go together. In Hebrews chapter 1, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Come with me there in your Bibles. 13. Sorry, I'm flipping over the pages. Hebrews chapter 12, sorry, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 1 and 2. Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels, unawares. Remember that, remember them that are, that are in bonds, as bound with them. And, and them which suffer adversely, being, as bring yourselves also in that body. And if, if we remember others, we will understand that God has a special need for us to, to bear one another's burdens. Hospitality means that you give that out of a free will and a free offering. And it's a gift. It is a gift that says to the the person to whom it is given, I have, I care about you, and you are important, and you are loved. A hot cup of coffee, coffee sometimes, taking these, these coffee, these thoughts to people, just to go and have a cup of coffee or a, a, at a coffee shop, 
and talk to them about the Lord sincerely brings a lot of joy and peace. It's amazing how many friends can be ma made over a cup of coffee. Uh, if you understand this, as you as you care for the needs of people, also bringing them to accept Jesus Christ as their own Lord and Master, God will look after your business and your needs. Mm. God bless you all. Amen.